Natalia, it's me, your mother-in-law. I will be arriving at your home shortly, and I want my room to be clean and tidy. I will be staying with you for some time, so you'd better get used to keeping everything the way I like it. You know how particular I am about cleanliness, so don't disappoint me. What are you saying, Mom? Why all of a sudden you decided to move into my house? What happened at your house? Who do you think you are to interrogate me like that? A police officer, perhaps? This is my son's house. I can come and go whenever I want without having to answer any of your stupid questions. I know my son is on a business trip, so I expect a royal welcome from you. Of course you can pay us a visit once in a while. But I would have appreciated a heads up before you showed up unannounced. It's not that I don't want you here, but I'm not prepared for guests right now. I have work to do, and I'm not sure where I'm going to put you. I hope you understand that this puts me in a difficult position. Are you suggesting that I need to ask for your approval before coming? I am your mother-in-law for crying out loud. And need I remind you that I am three decades your senior. You'd better show me some respect or else I'll tell your husband to dump you. I know he's been wanting that a long time ago, but he was too nice to say it to your face. What are you talking about? Owen doesn't want to dump me. Stop with your hurtful words. Not only were you rude enough to move in without telling me or my husband, but now you're also talking down to me? What is your problem? What is my problem? You're the one who has a problem, not me. Anyways, I'm on my way to your place, and I expect everything to be ready when I arrive. I don't want to hear any excuses, and I don't want to be disappointed either. Fifteen minutes? And what exactly do you expect me to do in that amount of time? What do you think? A clean and organized house? Did you miss my message from earlier, or did you deliberately ignore it? In any case, I expect you to welcome me with a spotless house. And by that, I mean polished floors, clear surfaces, and well-arranged furniture. Everything needs to be put away in its designated spot, so the house needs to be clutter and dust-free. Mom, I'm not sure what you're expecting, but our house is not a museum. We have a baby who needs constant care, and my husband is always working. I'm doing to the best of my ability, but I certainly can't keep up with your standards. Excuses, excuses. Do you think I'm interested in hearing any of those? Don't even dare to use your child as an excuse to slack off on the household chores. It's what lazy wives do, and I wouldn't be surprised if you were one of them. On the other hand, I'm not even sure if the child is actually my son's. You could have slept with another man and made my son raise the child with you. Who knows? At the end of the day, women like you are always plotting something behind your husband's back, just like a snake in the grass. Your accusations are groundless and ridiculous. I don't even know where that idea came from. I'm going to demand that Owen take a paternity test when he gets back from his trip to see if the kid is actually his or not. To be honest, I'm really hoping it's not his child, so he can kick you out of the house as soon as possible. Hee hee hee. You're just unbearable. For now, you can enjoy your freedom while it lasts. But when I move in, there's no way I'm going to let you continue living your irresponsible and unruly life. I'm going to set new rules, and you're going to follow them to the letter. It's the only way I can guarantee that my son and my grandchild will get to live in a good environment. I have all the respect in the world for you, but I'm the owner of this house, and I'm not going to let you tell me what to do. You're a guest here. You should respect my authority. I'm a guest? What kind of attitude is that? Is this how you treat your elders? It's unacceptable, simply unacceptable. You should be ashamed of yourself. It seems to me that your husband has been overindulging you the whole time you've been together, which has resulted in an insolent wife who doesn't even know the simplest manners when talking to her mother-in-law. Fine, if my son doesn't know how to properly educate his wife, then I'm going to take matters into my own hands and do it myself. I think there must be some misunderstanding here. I haven't said or done anything that could have offended you. I value our relationship as mother and daughter-in-law but it's also important that my voice and opinion be heard. Especially in this case, as I am the owner of the house. How dare you talk back to me like that, you insolent woman? I'm your mother-in-law, and you should show me some respect. I've been warning you for a long time that you're not good enough for my son, and now you're just proving me right. You're a disgrace to me and my family, and I'm going to make sure that you never disrespect me again. Well... I guess Owen must be beating himself up, regretting the day he disobeyed me and chose to be with you. But on second thought, 
It's all the more reason for my son to remarry. Ha ha ha. Mom, I'm not sure what I did to deserve your harsh words. I'm your daughter-in-law, and that means I'm a part of this family now. I deserve to be treated with kindness and respect, just like everyone else. I'm not asking for special treatment, but I do expect to be treated fairly. So now you're lecturing me about family. What have you done to contribute to your family, huh? You just stay at home all day, every day, while my son has to take on all the financial burden. Do you think that's fair? That's simply not true. I'm on maternity leave right now, but I'll be back to work as soon as possible. And even when I'm not working, I still contribute to my family's income by taking care of the house and our child. I believe I do my fair share, and I don't appreciate you making assumptions about my contributions. Taking care of the house and your child? Don't make me laugh. You can't even take care of yourself. You always look like a walking disaster zone whenever I see you. That's why I'm here. I'm the only one who can get this house in order. How can I trust you to take care of my precious granddaughter? If she's around you long enough, she'll grow up to be just like her pathetic mom. And we know no one would want that. No, thank you. My husband and I are doing just fine taking care of our daughter without your help. If we really need help, we'll hire a babysitter. I know you have your own life and things to worry about, so it's best that we handle everything ourselves. What? Are you serious? Your child is only weeks old and you're already thinking of outsourcing your care to someone else? Kids these days are so lazy. They don't want to lift a finger to do anything. They just want everything handed to them on a silver platter. I find it quite amusing that you'd rather trust a stranger to take care of your child than your own mother-in-law. Do you consider me a nobody in this family? Now that I'm getting on in years, you see me as a useless old woman who can't do you any good, so you want to cast me aside, is that it? I'm not sure how you got that impression, but that's not what I meant at all. I would appreciate it if you didn't make assumptions about what I'm thinking. Don't even think for a moment you can fool me with your words, Natalia. I'm not as naive as you think I am. I can see right through your lies and deception. You don't want me to take care of my granddaughter. In other words, you're just trying to separate me from her so that she'll grow up hating me. It was your plan all along. There's no way I'm going to let you achieve your evil ambition. If you and Owen actually split up, which you will eventually, my granddaughter will stay with me no matter what. There's no way I'm going to let you win her custody. Why do you keep mentioning me and my husband splitting up? Don't you have anything else to say? Well, of course I have other things to say, but it just excites me when I think about Owen dumping you. Sorry, can't help myself. <laughs> Small reminder, I'm arriving at your house in a few minutes and I want to see a well-arranged house. Chop chop, no time to lose. You'd better start cleaning now. Natalia, it's five in the morning. Why are you still sleeping? I can't believe my son has to put up with your laziness for all these years. You're a grown woman, for heaven's sake. Get out of bed and start acting like one. Back in my days, women who wake up late like you are the ones to be thrown stones at and humiliated by everyone. Do you hear me? I'm trying to sleep here. Why are you bombarding me with texts and messages? I woke up so many times last night to check on Cindy and feed her change her diaper, or rock her to sleep. I'm a human too, and I need my sleep to recharge my batteries. What on earth do you think by locking the door from the inside? Get up and prepare breakfast for everyone. The food is not going to cook itself, and I'm starving. Well, it's a good thing that I did lock the door, or else you would barge into my room without knocking at the door and throwing things at me to wake me up. I'm warning you, if you slam the door again, I will charge you for the repairs. By the way, the fridge is full, so why don't you cook something for yourself? You can choose whatever you want and cook it however you want. I'm not going to cook for you just because you're too lazy to do it yourself. What's with the attitude? Now you're calling me lazy and demanding repairs for your door? Don't you dare tell me to cook for myself. I'm your mother-in-law and it's your job to serve me breakfast. So get off your lazy butt and start cooking for me or I'll make you regret it. And what if I don't? 
I asked you nicely to cook my breakfast, and you had the nerve to reply with that. If you can't even do something as simple as make breakfast, then how can I trust you to take care of my son? I bet you can't even cook decent meals for your husband once in a while. Every time I see Owen, he always looks like he hasn't eaten in days. It's all your fault. My husband never complains about the way I take care of him or the whole family. It's only you who always has something to criticize about me. Owen enjoys spending time cooking for himself, so why can't I just let him do that? What? You let my son cook for himself? Are you out of your mind? Do you have any idea how dangerous that is? He could get hurt. If anything happens to him, you'll be the one to blame. Goodness, Owen is a grown man. He's perfectly capable of cooking for himself. And I know for a fact that he doesn't want anyone to treat him like a child like you do. You're using my son's kindness as an excuse to shirk off your duties as a wife. What a lazy and irresponsible woman. In the past, if a woman couldn't take care of her husband's wants and needs, he could divorce her for any reason. He had all the power, and she had none. Do you hear me? That's how it used to be. This is definitely a good reason for my son to dump you. I'm so excited. We're already past the age where women are expected to do all the cooking and other chores in a household. That outdated notion is long gone. In today's society, both partners should share the responsibility of household chores regardless of their gender. Excuse me? Did I hear you wrong? Are you implying that I'm a conservative old lady who's out of touch with the times? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I see that you're into that gender equality nonsense. It's brainless and it doesn't make any sense at all. Well, if you keep holding on to that way of thinking, then I guess you're not fit in this family. Why don't you go and find another family that can tolerate your attitude? Please, let go of my son. It's only you who deserves a miserable life, not my son. I didn't say anything like that. You're twisting my words again. You know what? I am not going to waste my time arguing back and forth with you. I expect my food to be freshly cooked and ready on a plate, or else we'll be discussing your divorce with my son when I come back from my morning exercise. No, I won't cook anything for you anymore. I've learned my lesson, and I'm not foolish enough to do as you tell me again. The last time I made dinner, you threw everything in the trash, saying that the food was not up to your expectations, and that I'm a terrible cook. You even told me that I should never even be near the kitchen. Why the sudden change of heart? Either you cook for yourself, eat out, or go hungry. At this point, I don't even care anymore. Need I remind you I'm in the middle of my morning exercises? I need to maintain a healthy body and mind so I can live as long as possible to protect my son from his evil witch of a wife. Besides, shouldn't you also be picking up your lazy ass and start losing some weight? My son married a woman, not a walrus, and you're starting to look like one. <gasps> Excuse me? What did you just say? Are you literally body shaming me now? That's right. <laughs> Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror? You always look like you just ate a whole elephant, and I'm not even exaggerating. I can understand that you don't have any self-respect and think that it's okay to be a whale, but please, you have to think for me or your husband once in a while. You embarrass me and your husband whenever other people see us together. I bet they must think we're being accompanied by a walking dinosaur. No wonder why Owen is always in a state of starving. Turns out it's you who steals all his food. And why do you think I'm not exercising? I do yoga pretty much every day and I follow a healthy diet. Losing weight doesn't just happen overnight, you know. It takes time and patience. Besides, I just gave birth to my daughter not long ago, so my body also needs to adjust itself. It's not very healthy to lose so much weight in just a short time. I'm doing the best I can and your comments about my weight are simply invalid. It's not your place to judge me. Blah, blah, blah. Save your breath. I'm not interested in hearing your excuses. Do you seriously think I'm going to care the slightest about what you have to say? You know what? The other day I was showing my son some pictures of prettier and single girls, and he didn't even fight me on that. I'm sure you're probably going to get dumped sooner or later. <laughs> Make sure my breakfast is ready when I get home, and maybe I'll consider telling my son to keep you as a housemaid when he eventually marries a new wife. But don't get your hopes up, sweetheart. I doubt he'll want to keep you around for long.
Mom, where are you? I just got home, but everything is a complete mess now. I can't even recognize my own house anymore. I just helped you with rearranging your house. I mean, it always looks like a bomb went off in there. So I figured I'd do you a favor and make some sense of the chaos. You're welcome. Don't mention it. This is what you call rearranging? My clothes are all over the place, on the bed, on the floor, even in the toilet and kitchen sink. Some of the clothes even have paint on them and big holes. What are you trying to pull here? Are you out of your mind? That's what you get for not washing your dirty clothes. They smell so awful that they might even wake up the dead. What do you mean? Those are newly washed and folded clothes. But now that they're covered in paint, I have to wash them again. Wait, why doesn't the washing machine seem to be working anymore? It was working fine not long ago. That's right. I have cut the electric wire and destroyed the control board of the washing machine, and you will not be using it again. You what? Why did you do that? Seriously? And what kind of training are you even talking about? You're far too reliant on labor-saving devices to do the housework for you. It's high time you learned how to do household tasks like a proper housewife without using any kind of devices whatsoever. Consider this part of your training to become a real wife. But don't think this is bad. Just wait. The worst is yet to come. <laughs> I'm not relying on machines. These machines are invented to help us with our everyday lives, and I'm simply using them as intended. I'm not lazy or incapable of doing the chores myself, but I don't see why I should have to when there are machines that can do them for me. Oh, please. With your working arms and legs and functional brain, I'm sure you'll be able to get everything done by yourself. Those devices are one of the reasons why you're becoming more and more lazy. After all, why would you bother to do any work when you have machines to do it for you? If you want to be a worthy wife for my son, you need to start acting like one. That means doing your chores by hand, not relying on machines to do everything for you. Oh, and by the way, I also messed up the vacuum, dishwasher, blender, and many other meaningless and useless machines in your house. I'm sure this will be a great opportunity for Mrs. Walrus to drop a few pounds and become more like a human being, which I doubt will happen, by the way. <laughs> you must be kidding me. Do you know how much these things cost? I don't care. From now on, you can wash your own clothes and dishes and clean the house by hand. I'm sure it will be a great way for you to burn some extra blubber and be more productive. After all, as the saying goes, a fat wife is basically a dead wife. Oh, and I also helped you clean your filthy computer. I soaked it with water and soap, and then I let it dry on the table. I'm sure it'll be fine. My computer, too? What were you thinking? It contains all my work data. Now you completely ruined it. What am I supposed to do when I get back to work? How should I know? It was all your fault for letting your computer be covered in dust like that. You know I'm a stickler for cleanliness. I was just helping you clean it, but instead of thanking me, you raise your voice at me? What an ungrateful daughter-in-law. My computer wasn't covered in dust like you said. I clean it every day. By the way, I didn't say a single word that I needed you to help me clean my computer. It's my property, not something you can mess around with without my consent. One more thing. I just threw everything in the fridge in the trash can. You don't even cook for me, so what's the point of keeping all that? What? You're just intolerable! I'm not gonna let you stay here in my house any longer. Ever since you came here, I haven't had a single moment of peace. You turn my life upside down, and I demand that you leave as soon as possible. <laughs> and what if I don't go? What will you do about it? That's it. I'm calling Owen so he can settle things out with you. I'm done. Ha! Huh, you're just as I thought of you. The first sign of trouble and you're running to your husband and crying for help. What a surprise. If you claim yourself Owen's wife or even a grown adult, why don't you put on your big girl pants and take care of everything on your own without relying on anyone's help? My son is working hard every day to provide for you and your family. But you, what would you do other than be a burden on him with such trifles? I've been tolerating your ill-mannered behavior for the last week because I didn't want to bother my husband. 
but this has to stop. I'm going to talk to him about all of this, and he will make you leave my house. Suit yourself. He's my son, so there's no way he will side with you and evict me from the house. You know what? I have another idea. I thought I would just make a quick visit to your house and go back to my house in a week or so. But given the situation, I see that you're totally not capable of taking care of my son and giving him the life he deserves. That's why I just decided that I will live with you and your husband until he gets himself a new wife. After all, I'm his mother, and mother knows best. Owen, are you free? Some things happened in our house recently, and I don't know how to deal with them. What is it, honey? Your mother showed up at our house not long ago with all of her belongings and just moved in. She didn't even give me a heads up. I was totally unprepared for that. She actually did that? How could she? That's not nice of her at all. I know, but that's not all. You can't even imagine what she did to me and our house during the time she's been here. She woke me up at five in the morning to make breakfast for her. When I cooked her dinner, she threw everything in the trash, saying that what I cooked didn't suit her taste. She even destroyed the washing machine, the vacuum cleaner, and many other devices in our house. She said that I should do all the housework by myself other than relying on machines. That's just rude and unacceptable. And why didn't you tell me about this sooner? Well, I thought she was just going to stay for a week and then come back to her house, as she said to me. But now, she changed her plan and claims that she will be living with us from now on. No, I won't allow her to do that. She's my mom, but she needs to learn how to respect me and you. What should I do now, Owen? I don't think she's going to go anywhere, even if I keep threatening her. I wouldn't want to call the police either, because it's only going to worsen my relationship with your mom. This seems like a tough situation. I know my mom and her stubbornness. She also has a big ego, and there's no way she would back down and leave the house. I would like to help you out, but I'm on my business trip. I can't just go home all of a sudden. Wait, I have a brilliant idea. Yes, this will definitely work. You don't have to worry about anything. Just sit back and relax, and everything will be solved before you know it. Natalia, I give up. I don't want to live here in your house again. Please let me out of here. I don't deserve this kind of treatment. I don't deserve to go through all of this suffering. Well, well, well. What do you think about having a taste of your own medicine? Is it good? I bet it is. <laughs> you witch! You're the one who's behind all of this. Nah, it wasn't my idea. It was actually Owen's idea. He told me to get in touch with your mom, who was my grandmother-in-law, and invited her here for a few days. She agreed right away without having to think twice, especially after I explained to her what was going on in the house. You know I don't get along with my mom. Why did you invite her here to your house? It doesn't make sense at all. You knew she would make my life a living hell, and yet you still invited her here. What were you thinking? Ever since she came here, I've had no choice but to follow her orders. She's made me take care of all the chores, pay for the damaged machines in the house, and even take care of your child whenever you're busy. I'm so tired of being her servant. She's a cruel woman, and I don't know why you would want to subject me to her abuse. I demand that you tell her to leave immediately. I don't want to see her face ever again. If you don't, I'm going to leave you. I can't live like this anymore. Cruel? Oh, please. That's rich coming from you. If anyone's cruel around here, it's you. Grandmother-in-law is the most kind-hearted and easygoing lady I've ever met. She's just trying to help you correct your misbehaviors and become a better person, but you're too stubborn to see it. I can't believe my own mom would turn her back against me and side with you. That's just unfair. I'm her own daughter, and you're nothing but a complete stranger. Didn't you hear what she said? To her, I'm more family than you. She also told me that you got kicked out of her house years ago due to your ill-mannered behaviors. And she had even refused to talk with you ever since. But now, Iris, I'm feeling a little hungry, so could you please cook some dinner for me? I also need you to wash the clothes by hand since the washing machine is already broken, and the house also needs to be cleaned manually since you were the one who destroyed the vacuum. Hurry up, chop chop. I don't have all day waiting for you. You! I mean, Natalia, my dear daughter-in-law. 
Can you just tell grandmother-in-law to go back to her house? The truth is, I've already lost my house and I have nowhere else to go. That was why I came here to live with you in the first place. Well, if you had behaved yourself in the first place, you would have been more than welcome here. But too bad, you couldn't help but become the center of attention and bully your own daughter-in-law. Anyways, my husband and I have already decided that my grandmother-in-law is staying here with us from now on. So, you can either live with us and learn how to be more respectful to others, or you can pack your bags and leave the house. The choice is all yours. After being forced to leave our house, my mother-in-law Iris was left to fend for herself. She had lost her home and was forced to rent a small house. However, Karma had not yet finished with her. Her landlord turned out to be a far worse person than she was. With no job and no money to pay the rent, Iris was subjected to constant harassment from the landlord. She was even beaten up on a few occasions. Eventually, she was forced to move out of the rented house. My husband and I are currently living the life of our dreams alongside my grandmother-in-law and our little angel, Cindy. I am incredibly grateful to be married to a kind and considerate man such as my husband and to be able to live under the same roof as such a wonderful woman as my grandmother-in-law.